Hi everyone and thanks for watching my online lesson on expand and simplify single brackets. So in these questions we're looking at two single brackets that need to be expanded and then simplified because they're either being added or subtracted from each other. You need to make sure you're really confident first on expanding single brackets before you attempt this. Okay, let's look at this first question. So the first thing I'm going to do is expand this first bracket. So I'm going to do 3 multiplied by x, so that's 3x. And then I'm going to do the 3 multiplied by minus 4, which is minus 12. Now I'm going to do the second bracket and I'm going to do it all in one go. So I've got minus 2 times x, that is minus 2x. And then I've got to do my minus 2 multiplied by the plus 5, which is minus 10. So that's my expanding done, and that will get me one out of my two marks. My second mark is for simplifying. So I'm just going to collect these terms together. So I have a 3x and a minus 2x. So all together that's just 1x, which I can just write as x. And then I also have a minus 12 and a minus 10. So all together that is minus 22. And that's the first question done. The second question is a little bit more complicated. So we've got 3 times 2a, that's 6a. We've got 3 times 5, that's 15. And then on my second bracket, I have plus 5 times a, so that's plus 5a. And then plus 5 times minus 2, which is minus 10. Again, that's my first mark for expanding, so I've now got to simplify this, because my 6a and 5a will simplify to 11a. And then I have 15 and minus 10 that will simplify to plus 5. I just want to do two more examples because this first one here is where a lot of students trip up because of the negatives. And this second one is quite a nasty one that has two different variables in it. It's got x's and y's in it. Let's just do two more examples. This first one, I'm going to do the exact same process. I've got 2 times 3x, well that's 6x. Then 2 times 4 is plus 8. And then on my second bracket, I have minus 3 times 4x is minus 12x. And this is the part where students make a mistake, probably because you're in an exam and you're rushing, but I've got minus 3 times minus 5 so that is plus 15 and they love to ask you these ones that have got this double negative in here and here and check that you're paying attention to what you're doing so last step I've got to collect my terms together so I have a 6x and a minus 12x so that's actually minus 6x and then with my numbers I have an 8 and a plus 15, so all together that is plus 23. Okay, final example. And as I said, this is the hardest one I've seen because it's actually got two variables in. So I'm going to do 2 multiplied by x, that is 2x. Then 2 multiplied by minus y is minus 2y and then on my second bracket I have minus 3 multiplied by x is minus 3x and this question is doubly nasty because it's also got that double negative in again it's got minus 3 times minus 2y so that is plus 6y Okay, just collect together my terms as before. So I have my 2x and minus 3x. 
So all together that's a minus x. And then with my y's I have minus 2y and plus 6y. So all together that's plus 4y. Here's three questions for you to try. If you pause the video now, you can unpause when you're ready to see the solutions. Here's the full solutions. I've got all my steps of working out so you can spot if you went wrong anywhere. Again, on these last two, you have to be doubly careful because it was minus two times minus x. So it was a plus 2x on the end here. And this one was minus 2 times minus 3. So you should have got a plus 6 on the end here. Thank you for watching.